Cheers, Namibia. Welcome, welcome to China. China. So, Namibia, welcome to visit China. Uh, the Forbidden City is here and the Summer Palace is here. Welcome. Uh, a very good afternoon to you, my viewers, my family on internet, my family on YouTube. How are you doing today? My name is Dina from Namibia, Africa. These that you can see here are the colors of my national flag, are the colors of, of my country's national flag. So this is the colors that represent Namibia in the map. So I am actually from there, but today I'm greeting you from Beijing, China. So I'm standing here by Beijing Foreign Studies University that is located in the Tidian district of Beijing, China here. And it's a university that, that offers about 101 foreign languages. So I will take you through, through campus tour so that you understand more about the university and you would one day end up here or your family, your cousin, your friends to actually uh, come study in the Beijing Foreign Studies University. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, how are you doing? Uh, really fine, but it's a little rainy. It's really rainy. Yeah, it's really it's rainy. Okay. Here in your university, what what do you what languages do you speak? Well, I speak uh, Chinese, my mother tongue, my mother language, and English. And I have learned Finnish language, mm -hmm. uh, Korean language, and a lot and a little bit Russian. A little bit Russian. Yes. Okay. What do you like about the university? What do you think of the university? Well, uh, first of all, like you have already seen, we have a beautiful campus, and uh, I believe that um, we can learn a lot from this university because we speak a lot of languages here, and we studied a lot of uh, foreign cultures, and we can meet, meet people from all over the world. So I think uh, I have benefited a lot from this campus, and I will recommend you to. Uh, come here at least visit here, and we have my language. Uh, we have our um, language museum. So, um, if uh, only be a tourist, it's also a good place to choose to visit. I see. Yeah. Apart from what you have already mentioned, is there any message that you want to send to the world? To actually, is there any message that you want to, to, to tell them about the university? Uh, well. Um, like our teachers have said, um, from the FSU you can go, abroad, uh, go, uh, go global and go abroad. So uh, I want to say that uh, welcome to China and welcome to my campus, welcome to my university. Uh, you can find a lot of friends here from all over the world, from uh, with all kinds of backgrounds. And welcome. Uh, that's what I want to say. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm so good. Uh -huh. What are you studying here? I'm majoring in Czech language. Czech language? Yes. Okay, how many languages do you speak? Uh, just three. My Chinese is my mother tongue, of uh -huh. course, and Czech language, my second language, and Cantonese, a little. Just a little. Okay. I can see that you are in your academic regalia. Have you gradu graduated today or something? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, this year is my final year in uh, university. So, yeah, I will graduate from here. Thank you. Graduate from here. Is there anything that you want to tell Namibians where I came from or any other country in Africa or generally in Europe, in the world? Is there any message that you have for them? Okay, BFSU is a pl place that I full of cultural diversity and our alumni is very excellent. Uh, every year we will enroll many, uh, you know, smart cookies to there. Uh, our learning atmosphere is very relaxing. 
Um, we are allowed to have many opportunities to go abroad, uh, to study abroad, to uh, communicate with other people from diverse culture. Yeah, welcome to China, welcome to the MSU. Thank, thank you very much. much. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm fine. What is your name? My name is Wang Kuya. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so, what what do you like about your university? Um, well, first of all, I think the campus is really beautiful. Although it's not that big, but it's very beautiful and with many flowers oh, and attractive yeah. buildings. Yeah. And secondly, I think I learned so much about the international uh, horizons in my campus. And also, it's located in Beijing, mm -hmm. our city. So, I think it is a very attractive. How many languages do you speak? Well, first of all, my mother language is Chinese, and also I'm fluent in English and Finnish, which is my major in university. And uh, also, I have learned French for a year, but I have forgotten most of all. I so I can't say I can speak this language. It's fine. You will catch up with time. Yeah. So, um, what what are you studying? Well, my major is Finnish mm -hmm. language. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything that you want to tell people out there about the university? Uh, well, I think um, our university is not that famous as the Peking University, but it is also a very good university where many foreign students come here to learn Chinese. So I think if you want to learn more about um, Beijing and China, you can come here and have a visit and you can know what it is really from the university like in your eyes. Like at, at, at what level do they start teaching? Like I, the person comes here from let's say Africa, they have never heard in Chinese way. Can they is the university like starting from scratch, like the very basic? Yes, or at very what level basic. do they, they start? I let's think talk very, very basic from the and also the students and teachers in the university they can speak fluent English. So if you need help they can all help you because they are all teachers and all the students in the campus. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. So how are you? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm alright. What is your name? My name is Vicky. Vicky. And your surname? Uh, your surname. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm alright. What are your names? Uh, my Chinese name is Mao Wenxing and I have a Chinese name. Are you studying in, 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 in this university? Czech language. Czech language. What other languages uh, are you speaking? Uh, I, I'm a native speaker of Chinese and I also speak English, then Czech and also a little French. Oh, okay. What are you carrying in your hands? What does it symbolize? It's a mascot of our school.
good communication and uh, friendship. Okay. I want you to look in the camera, then you also talk to the Namibians. Just talk to the oh, Namibians. Thank you. And uh, yeah, you just look on this one. You, you talk to the Namibians and say, Namibia, please come and visit China. Then maybe you can just mention two, two of the good places here in Beijing for Namibians to come here. Uh, so, Namibia, welcome to visit China. Uh, the Forbidden City is here and the Summer Palace is here. Welcome. Namibia, cheers Africa, okay. come to China, yes, one, two, three, go. Cheers Namibia, welcome, welcome to China. China. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm good, hello. How, uh, well, well, I want you to talk to me about this place. Where are we standing right now? Okay, now we are standing at the West Campus of so Beijing Foreign Studies University. And just behind, uh, behind us, this is the Mobile Strip. This is the sculpture that just uh, established in 2021 to celebrate the 80th birthday of Beijing Foreign Studies University. Oh, okay, how many languages are actually offered in this university or what does the university do in general? Um, our university, as you, as the name suggests, is Beijing Foreign Studies University. It specializes in language learning and language teaching. It teaches about 101 languages uh, across the world and those languages are all official languages of the countries that have established diplomatic relationships with China. I can see. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what are you studying here? Uh, my major is psycholinguistics. Actually, this is about this is the sub branch of linguistics. It studies the relationship between mind and language. What What do you like more about your majors? Like, why Why have you decided to go for that one? Uh, because uh, psycholinguistics is actually an uh, interdisciplinary subject. It is not, not, not only about the study of language, mm -hmm. but we also use some very scientific method to study how we human beings can process, we can produce, and also we can acquire language. I can see. Mm -hmm. So, um, what, 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 tell me a little bit about the history of the university. How did the university start and why have they introduced such a university mm -hmm. in Beijing, China? Okay, so my university was found in 1941 when China was still in very turbulent times to, uh, with the war with the Japan and uh, to cultivate some talents in language to help Chinese armies communicate with foreign countries and uh, to uh, uh, gather together to fight the Nazis. Then we start this university. And actually our university witnessed the development of China from a very poor country to now the second largest economy in the world. So actually our language has produced many uh, diplomatic talents who worked in all across the globe in politics, in laws and also in hi history just in those liberal arts uh, areas. Yeah, and also our university can be called as the cradle of ambas ambassadors. It has produces more than 400 ambassadors of China. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, apart from uh, offering languages, what mm -hmm. else does the university offer? Yeah, so actually um, language is just uh, one part of the university has to offer. We just go beyond language because behind language, this is about literature, it is about history, it's about politics. So we use language to try to explore uh, the other parts of the world, to try to understand other cultures and to try to uh, see the diversity of the world. How many, language, how many languages do you speak? Uh, actually, I can speak uh, uh, three languages, uh, of course, Mandarin is my mother tongue, until English, and uh, also a little bit of French. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what else? Uh, I wanted to also find out about uh, what, what do you like more about the, this university? Uh, there are many universities across the, the, the mm -hmm. across the, across China, mm -hmm. and you have opted for this one. Yeah. Why? 
uh, actually because you see that when we understand the language, this is the first step to understand the culture, right? So uh, that's why I want to study the language and also to try to approach different parts of the world. And also, uh, have um, learning foreign languages can also equip me with a global uh, vision and to help me to become a global citizen. So that's why uh, I love to study here and I can also see the diversity of the world. And it also helped me to be, become more inclusive. Yes, 101 languages are, is, is actually a long list. I would like you to mention a few, maybe two, three, four, five about, uh, I mean, two, three, four, five languages that are offered here. What can you remember about some of the languages that, uh, that are actually, offered here? Actually, there are some languages that just taught in this university, and those, uh, those languages are all from African. For mm -hmm. instance, Zulu, mm -hmm. and uh, Abraham, and mm -hmm. also like Hausa language. These are uh, um, very rare in China, very few Chinese people can speak, but our language uh, provides this language program. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um... Uh, Ari, having said about all these good things about the university, is there any message that you want to send out to the people out there in the universe? Yeah, I want to say that. Uh, welcome to BFSU, welcome to China to see the diversity of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine. That's good. Okay, is there anything that you want to discuss with us uh, regarding uh, China? Okay, hello Africa. Welcome to China, welcome to Beijing, and uh, wish you have a great time in China. Thank you very Thank much. You. Those are the languages that are offered in Beijing Foreign Studies University here in China. Can you pick something that is related to you or your culture or your country? Please drop a comment if you are seeing something. I want you to actually uh, mobilize people, your cousins, your family members to come and study to this wonderful university that is offering all those languages. It's something marvelous in history, really. I never knew that there is a university like this. I just came across it and it's very beautiful. We really thank the People's Republic of China for introducing such a university that is making strides history in the universe so we are really thankful i'm standing here don't you want to come study to this university that is offering all those languages you see those beautiful colors color brown and 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 and, and yellow hmm? it's a nice thing i like the design everything looks so good in my eyes so i'm inviting you to please come here Those are actually some of the words that are just speak from the languages that are taught here. Are you able to read anything that you know? Can you relate to any of those words? Drop a comment. Campus life. It was actually graduation today, so that's why you are seeing Helen students in their graduation regalia. So, Namibia, this is the, the colors of my country. Namibia, can you see it blowing, blowing, glowing? Namibia, I'm here in China. Can you see my beautiful bag I got from the People's Republic of China? Can you see it? Do you love it? So, I want you to pick a language and just come study it. Greetings, it's so good to be here. The fresh air, everything is fantastic in my eyes. I thank you. As you can see right there, uh, these are some of the quotations that were extracted 
These quotations were extracted from uh, materials like books and other materials and they were spoken by some of the famous people in the world and they are really words that are making sense. You read it and you draw a lot of wisdom from them. Like this very first one is saying, recording human civilization and bridging world cultures. So you just be able to read them as I'm going along them one by one. Uh, are you able to read them? I hope so. So yeah, let's walk around through these quotations and just drop a comment. What do you think about them? What do you think about the design of the university, the innovations that is taking place here? What do you think about it? Tell me, what is your favorite quote? I'm going through all of them. Tell me, what is your favorite quote? Drop a comment. And why do you, why have you chosen that one? Why, why do you love that quote instead of the other one? Or if you love about five quotes or all of them, drop a comment. If you can also interpret them in Chinese, they, yeah, they are written in Chinese also, so let me know if you understand Mandarin. So, yeah. Yes, we are done with the quotes. We are done with the quotes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another one there. What do you think about the creativity of the university? Beijing Foreign Studies University. What do you think about their creativity? Drop a comment. So drop a comment about your, some of, of the favorite quotes that you really, really admire. Beijing Foreign Studies University. I love the setup. What do you think? China is doing magnificent things. You know, truth should be told as is. It is what it is like, really. China is doing extravagantly well, if I can put it that way. We are benefiting a lot from China. Bilateral relations, multilateral relations, what are we not benefiting from their factories there? Their productions are just at another level. We can even order, like in my case, I used to order products from China, you know, and then they would just post it to Namibia without any delay. So why can't you make your options very well? Why don't you gather up some money to send your family here, your children? It's a rare thing to study about language. So I can see that the highest percentage is really on languages. So we usually opt for other things like science and uh, other kinds of literature. But here really, they focus more on languages. What other universities do you know that offer languages? For me, if I have to study something one day, I would actually opt to come here and I, would also, I might also end up sending my children to come here when the time is right. Bonjour. I don't know if I pronounced it very well. Can you read it? Are you happy to read it here in the People's Republic of China on this uh, billboard here? What do you think? Drop a comment. But China is doing very well. I just want to even call China a developed country, but apparently they have not reached that level yet. They are really bulldozing through to get there, to the top. Yeah, to the top, to be on top in terms of everything, production, infrastructure. I just want that, I, I, I'm just uh, wishing that China really get there on top, 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 top of the ladder. I love China so much, so yeah. And I'm also thankful that God made a way for me to be in China 
So I'm just here now in China, China sick in China.